Hi guys, my name is Alok Verma and uh, I've been here teaching at the Heart World Heartbeat Academy for actually quite a while now. And uh, it's become like a family. So I'm really excited about this online project that we are doing today. And uh, so we are, we will be talking through the introduction and the, the basics of the Indian rhythm. Um, but I would like to um, say that if you have tabla with you, you are more than happy to um, bring that with you and we might learn some few basics, but if you don't, then we can still have like pots, you know, pots and pans and things like that, which you can just pull out from the kitchen and we can try and make some rhythm out of that too. Um, look, you can see the tabla here in front of me. Yeah. Okay. They are, they come in two, it's a pair. So the small drum is called the tabla, it's called the uh, daya. And uh, the big one is called the baya. Okay. So let's help the big one first. Yeah. And see the difference of sound. It goes like that. And the small one here, it goes. So you're right. The big one makes a low sound, doesn't it? Yeah. And look at this. It's quite sharp. It's quite. And look at this. So I'm going to play something a little for you for as an introduction. So you get an idea of what they sound like. Okay. So that's what the tabla sounds like. But it's got very, very um, different modulations that you can get because you know when you when you hear the bass sound, like if it's a if it's a kick drum, like a proper drum drum kit, then you have a the kick, which is a <clears throat> over here. We can go this same sound. We can we can slide as well. We can do this. You see that? So we can do that as well. Okay. So we're gonna start off with a with a time signature called teen tal and it's got 16 beats so if you can all count from 1 to 16 after 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 1 okay so what we're doing here now is um, the normal the basic the structure of teen tal it has got certain claps and certain waves on the numbers that you need to clap and wave on, okay? So I'm gonna teach you that today. We're gonna to begin with that. So we can have clap on number one and then we can practice that together. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, one. Okay, so now what we do is we count, we're gonna clap on one and we're gonna clap on number five as well. So let me show that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Good. So what we do now is on number nine, we clap to number five, we clap to number one, and on the on number nine, we do a little wave. Okay, so we do this: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 
13, 14, 15, 16. Okay. okay. So the notes for this is they actually have, instead of numbers, we can put the notes in down. Okay. So notes wise, we have got, so the first line is da, then, then, da. If you can read that. Okay. So these are the 16 notes. We can read it there. The first one was a da, second is then, and then, then, da. Then the fifth is da, then, then, da. Then it's da, tin, tin, ta. Then it's ta, then, then, da. So remember the first note that we clapped on was number one. That number one is the first da. So it goes like this, da, then, then, da. And then the, we clapped on number five again, which was the, again, the second line. The first beat of the second line is da. So da, then, then, da. And then number nine, we waved, which was the da, tin, tin, ta. And then again, 13 was the clap again, which was ta, din, din, da. Okay, it goes like this. Da, din, din, da. Da, din, din, da. Da, tin, tin, ta. Ta, din, din, da. Well done. So now I'm gonna play this theme tal. Like if you know in Tabla, we have a language. So that this particular theme tal that you have just learned, it's got the notes, it's kind of a tabla language. So when, when whatever you say, it will sound exactly the same. So look. So what, what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it again. And uh, you watch the difference of the sound of da and din. You always, depends, most of the concerts, sometimes, you know, they always have um, one person playing the, the, as an accompaniment artist, but sometimes they, had, they can have two as well. It's not always that they have two, or there, are, there can be, um, when there are concerts where many, like four or five tabla players, can they, they can perform together as well. But having said that, when it's an accompaniment for Indian classical music, they usually have just one tabla player. Either it could be a vocalist, or it could be an instrumentalist, it could be a sitar player, and you always have one tabla player with them. But sometimes they can have choice of two if they want to. And uh, do, you know, do you know when they were invented, tabla were invented in the, around the 15th century. And uh, let me load the screen a bit so you can see it. So initially the tabla, they were like, like they were like that. It, it was an instrument called pakavaj. They used to play like the sideways, like that. This guy, he decided to chop it into half and he decided to invent these new beautiful instrument and they played upright now and it's called tabla. The theme tal is, is very widely used in, in Indian music. They play it a lot. And if, if not, they also have the kaherva as well, which is, you must have heard it so many times, even in Bollywood or any songs that you hear, and it's just very, very common rhythm. Look, watch this, I'm gonna play that, okay? Yeah, that's that's an eight that's an eight beat cycle which we'll go through next week. Okay, so we, I'm gonna run through a recap on this. What we did today, we did a 16 beat cycle. It is called the Teen Tal. Yeah, it's called Teen Tal. We clapped on number one, number five, and number thirteen, and we waved on number nine. We did a lot of in knowledge about the the instrument of this tabla, how it began. It began in the 15th century where this guy decided to chop this into half. 
and it decided his name was Amir Kushro, and he decided to play it upright. And uh, since then, they've been playing this instrument upright. And uh, I, I really love it. I started learning at the age of seven. And uh, obviously, this is a very long journey. So it takes a lot of um, practice, discipline, and uh, commitment as well. So, yeah, that's my journey. I've been learning for a very, very long time. And I perform with different bands. I go around the world. And I produce music as well. Right. So um, what we can do next week is we will next week touch another time signature, which is called the Keherba, which I just played today. It's an eight-beat cycle. And then and I will learn about that too. So we'll kind of play. I'll play different um, music in the background, which will help us understand the Keherba. Okay. And uh, that way we can understand the accent and the, uh, how the how Kerva is played into the Indian music. So hope you enjoyed this today. And uh, we will see you again the same time next week.